up in the Civic, yeah, you know that thing is sticks if this is bar bars. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barboss. Um, if you guys have seen from the title, this video will either be demonetized or it'll be taken down. So, let's get this video started. And let me tell you guys that I just added some of these clips around the car. Got one up here, one over there. So I can place that camera and I'll be able to record while I drive. Also, we're gonna shoot the timing, set it at 16 degrees before we take off driving. And we are not gonna advance. Remember, you could advance or you could retard the timing. If we take timing off, you're not gonna make power. If we advance it, we got a chance of blowing the spark out because these plugs are not meant for this. So I gotta get some new spark plug so we're just gonna go ahead and set it at 16 leave it at 16 and take it out for a spin all right i got my gun hooked up positive negative and i got this one hooked up right here and i am gonna go ahead and check my timing to see how far i am so i'm gonna turn on the car and all i'm doing is just checking to see where my timing is right now So we're gonna go ahead and bypass the little switch over here. We're gonna put a paper clip in it and then we're gonna go ahead and finally adjust our timing. Otherwise, if we don't do that paper clip thing, then the whole thing will just readjust itself. And this way I can manually readjust it. There's a little clip down here, which I'm gonna show you guys. It's like a little jumper. It's right here, right inside this green little casing. You're gonna pull it out. There's two green casings this one's a plug but this one's just like a little casing that holds that wire in there so we're gonna go ahead and pull that guy out i'm just gonna go ahead and jump it with a little wire it's just a little wire it's like this there you go that's all you do that allows you to fix your timing now so let's go ahead and turn this car back on
you're gonna need a 12 millimeter socket or a wrench and you're gonna loosen up this one this one and this one I already loosened the one in the back I'm gonna loosen the one down here set you guys down so I could adjust this correctly. I'm gonna turn the car back on. I'm gonna check my timing one more time. Make sure nothing moved on me. Everything looks good. I think we're ready to go for a little spin right now.
racing and the car is running really good I went ahead I went around the block and then I came back and when I reversed it in you guys heard the whistle of the turbo so then I decided to go back around another time and this time when I went around I got into boost I went all the way up to like around I would say 5600 5700 and then I let go so I'm not trying to push the car by any means or anything I'm just trying I was just checking to see if we were making boost and we are um, let me show you guys right here you guys see how black how black the head got just from the exhaust coming out right onto that we're definitely gonna have to do something about that ASAP and yeah I still got to get tags and get the car registered but that's gonna run me around three three hundred and fifty dollars because of the fact that this was an out-of-state vehicle so I gotta come up with some money so I can get the plates for this car and get it registered besides that everything looks looks pretty good if anybody wants to help out the link will be down below you guys could help help out get the plates um, if anybody wants to buy stickers that would really help me out because then I would be able to use that money towards the tags because right now if I get caught they'll impound the car they'll probably take me straight to jail but either way if anybody wants stickers five dollars a piece leave me a message down below the sooner we get this car on the road the faster we'll get some videos going let me check the temperature oh yeah temperature is looking really good look at that look where we're idling it's idling beautiful right now nice and even nine grand we do have the check engine light on but that's for the O2 sensors um, for the O2 sensors there is a way to bypass them which I might do it and I might not because if I get an ECU a chipped ECU or a Hondata or something later on that I would have to like undo all that but there is a way to bypass them to get rid of that check engine light without deleting it just fooling the ECU but either way that'll probably be a different different video yeah and uh pretty much rambling on right now so i'm gonna go ahead and call this a video here we did accomplish we did make some boost so i will catch you guys on my next video remember if you haven't subscribed if you haven't hit the like button go down and do it now <laughs> catch you guys on my next video till then peace out later